The base rate fallacy is a type of thinking error where someone ignores general statistical information, called the base rate, and focuses only on specific details. This can lead to wrong conclusions because the person forgets how common or rare something actually is. For example, they might hear a very detailed story and think it must be true, even if the statistics show it's unlikely. The base rate fallacy happens when people forget that probability and averages still matter, even when something seems to match a pattern or story perfectly. Now let's look at some examples. Imagine you hear that a person is quiet, likes books and works alone, so you assume they're a librarian. But if you forget that there are way more teachers than librarians, you might make the wrong guess. Another example is a medical test that gives a positive result for a rare disease. If the disease is very uncommon, the test result might still be wrong, even if the test is usually accurate. Ignoring how rare the disease is leads to the base rate fallacy. These examples show how easy it is to make mistakes when base rates are overlooked. Now let's explore what causes the base rate fallacy. One cause is that people find stories and specific details more interesting and easier to remember than numbers or statistics. Our brains like to match patterns and make quick judgments, even if those judgments skip important background information. Another cause is overconfidence. People often believe their personal judgment is better than general data, so they trust their instincts instead of thinking about the bigger picture. These causes show that the base rate fallacy often comes from natural thinking habits that need to be trained or corrected. Now let's look at the effects of the base rate fallacy. One effect is that it can lead to poor decision making, especially when dealing with risk or uncertainty. For example, someone might panic over a rare problem because they ignore how unlikely it actually is. Another effect is that people may place too much trust in stereotypes, thinking that a person must belong to a certain group just because of a few traits, even when the numbers don't support it. These effects can lead to wrong assumptions and missed opportunities to make smarter choices based on real data. Now let's look at some ways to solve this problem. One solution is to always ask about the base rate before making a judgment. This means checking how common something is overall, not just how well the details match. Another solution is to learn basic probability skills, which can help people compare the chances of different outcomes more clearly. People can also slow down their thinking and ask themselves if they're focusing too much on one story or example. Practicing these habits helps people use both logic and facts instead of just relying on guesses or feelings.